So here we're going to have a quick video on how to properly wire a light switch and how not to do it. We were replacing one here, and this is the new switch, but I have rewired it to show how the original was wired. It had four wires, and two of them were connected using the light switch itself. So one was connected to this screw, and one was pushed into the hole on the back of the switch. And in general, it's considered better practice to use the screws because the wires are more likely to pop out of the holes eventually. So the proper way to do that is to use a wire nut separately to connect these two wires and then run a third wire to the screw as opposed to trying to cram both wires into the screw or pushing one wire into the hole and one wire into the screw as it was previously. So we're gonna redo that and show you the proper way to do it. Okay, so we now have the breaker back on and we can show that this wire here is hot. So whoever wired this, what Josh, Josh, so we now have the breaker back on and you can see that this wire here is live so whoever wired this previously was effectively using the switch as a junction box and then had another wire running off to power something else which again is a no-no so we're going to show you the proper way to do it so the proper way to do this is to twist together the wires before you put the wire nut on don't just try to hold them parallel to each other and twist the nut on all at the same time and again, here we are connecting those two wires that were originally just connected with the light switch itself and a third shorter piece of wire that is going to go to the screw on the light switch. As you can see here, you want to make sure the wires are twisted together securely before you put the wire nut on. So you want to make sure your wires are twisted together securely before you put the wire nut on. And then the little hole here is convenient for putting a hook on the end of your wire. And you want to put a hook on the wire before you put it on the screw. And then the direction you put the hook is important because when you tighten the screw, you want it to draw the hook into the uh, screw and not push it away. So if we tighten the screw to the right, we want that hook to be drawn in to the right. Like outlets for the bed. You gotta be careful not to get too much insulation yeah, under the screw and then make sure this is closed sufficiently. And just avoid issues later. It's just an added measure to protect uh, in case, like say the ground wire gets wadded up in the wrong direction, it can't touch the terminals. Or sometimes if you put it in, if this box is metal and the switch will slide to the side, it's just an ounce of prevention. We actually forgot to film the part where we screwed the switch back into place, but that part is a little more self-explanatory, so here we are just screwing on the cover plate. Yep. 